Good afternoon and welcome to FID. My name is Ruben Ayala. I'm a first year clinical pharmacology fellow at Roche. And today, I will be talking to you about clinical pharmacology. Well, clinical pharmacology is the science of drugs and their clinical use. It essentially bridges the, cap, the gap between uh, laboratory practice and medical practice. Uh, it also oversees the introduction of new molecular molecules into the human population. Now, I want to clarify uh, briefly, clinical pharmacology is not uh, doing bench work. You're not going to be doing laboratory experiments, but you are going to be developing the protocols for these studies that you're going to be conducting. What I personally like about it is that you will develop the protocols and you will have somebody run those studies for you. Then you will get the data from the studies and you will use that data to actually develop more studies. So you're kind of like the mastermind behind the clinical trials. Uh, clinical pharmacology is actually involved throughout the life cycle of a medication uh, from phase one all the way to phase four. But it's actually essentially uh, focused a little more in phase one studies. And here's a list of the phase one studies that are typically conducted in phase one. Now, the, the uh, phase one studies usually aim to uh, evaluate the safety and tolerability, the pharmacokinetic, pharmacodynamic, as well as any early therapeutic effects of your medication. Uh, typically, these studies are short in nature, so they'll run from a few months up to two years. And this is what I like about it as well, because you actually get to see a, a, a study from start to finish. And so you get very familiar with the studies. And this is just a list of all the studies that, that are usually conducted in phase one. I'm not going to go through the whole list in detail, but I will tell you two of the most important studies in this list. And it's the first one here is the single ascending dose study. This study usually typically aims at evaluating the PK and PD uh, characteristics of your compound. The second one is the multiple ascending dose study. And this is just looking at uh, if you can come up with the uh, maximum tolerated dose of your medication. Now, these are two of the most classical studies that any particular drug out in the market must have. So you as a fellow will actually be involved in some of the pivotal studies for any single compound out there. And some of the other, sorry, some of the other studies in this list include the proof of concept study, the drug interaction study, the special population studies. For instance, if your drug is cleared through the kidney, you want to do a study in, in patient populations that have problems with kidneys. Also, the food effects study, the bioavailability, and bioequivalency study. And so I talked to you about uh, clinical pharmacology and phase one studies. Now I want to talk to you about the role of the fellow. Now what you actually get to work on is, like I mentioned before, the protocol for these studies. You also get to analyze PKPD data that comes from those studies. You also get to write uh, the informed consent form and occasionally, you'll actually get to go out into the field and look at uh, and uh, just uh, visit the trial sites. And some of the most successful uh, pharmacolo clinical pharmacology candidates actually should possess the following uh, characteristics. Strong analytical skills. Uh, the, the fellow must be detail-oriented. And also a strong initiative to pursue some of the projects. And lastly, you must be eager to learn. And I'm going to add another bullet point here. You must be fun because we all like to be around fun people. <laughs> and here are the company partners, and I want to thank you for your attention, and I hope I can talk to all of you uh, later on tonight.